our spring colorinos. Today I am here with Kat from Catrific. Is that what you're still calling yourself? Yeah, Catrific. Catrific. Or Cat. Or Cat, that's her name. Uh, <laughs> good, good start. This is my name. This is her name. We could talk about it for five more minutes. If no, you like. no, I'm gonna get a little bit <laughs> to the instruction. We're going to make this video about self care because if ever I had an American therapist, it would be this lady here. Aww. The amount of times I have rang you on Skype or like messaged you on Facebook and poured my heart out and you fixed it. Um, is, is a lot and I really appreciate it and you. You're a very special lady. Emotion. I'm like, I'm yeah. like, yeah. And one of the things Kat talks about a lot to me is about looking after yourself and looking after your feelings and looking after your heart and self care. And lately, I have been probably not as careful with my feelings as I should have been. I've just been like, here's my feelings, blah, all over the place. I feel like you're kind of like that a lot. <laughs> so I thought it might be really helpful for some of you who are like me and are like emotional sponges for things, which means I suck up a lot of people's emotions and also I just like pour out a lot of emotions, which I think you're the same as as well, um, to hear about Kat's ideas and some of the things that I've been doing that make me feel better. So first of all, what is self-care? Uh, I would say self-care is basically as straightforward as it sounds. Taking care of yourself, mm. valuing your own happiness, treating yourself the way yes. you should be treated, and kind of going easy on yourself in terms of uh, whether it's guilt, shame, like uh, condemnation. Just like people can have a tendency to be really hard on themselves about things. Like, yeah. oh, I should have done this, and I should have known that, or I, I did a horrible thing. But like, I think part of self-care is understanding that it's okay to give yourself a break yeah. and it's okay to say what you need and then do that. So one of the things Kat talked to me about is I was really cross at myself for something and I said I shouldn't have done like I shouldn't have let myself feel that way and um, I wasn't cross at the person for making me feel the way I was cross at myself for making myself feel that way and Kat said it's okay that you did that and I was like there is. Like sometimes the best thing you can do is go, it's it's okay. It's okay. it's okay that you have that feeling, like a feeling is fine. As long as you're not doing something like incredibly hurtful or harmful. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have a feeling. So that's that's number one. It's okay to have a feeling. It's okay to have a feeling. <laughs> it's okay to have a lot of feelings. It's okay All to of have it at once. <laughs> it's okay to have confused feelings too. Mm -hmm. Like any types it's like okay to feel whatever you're feeling and not to judge yourself. Like ju we judge ourselves so hard. Yeah. And we judge ourselves usually harder than we judge other people. Oh yeah. Definitely. You know, it's like I think definitely you're your own worst enemy a lot of the time. Exactly. So it's it's good to just go easy on yourself. And uh, I think Part of that, like the next thing, I guess already transitioning, is to make sure that like you are valuing your own happiness in your life because if you're not doing that, people around you think it's okay to not do that too. So uh, something I do is I worry about other people. So whether that's like in romantic relationships or friendships or even business relationships, I always think, oh, but I'm worried like that what I'm doing might make them feel this way. It might make them feel this way. So I often put myself out or do myself a disservice because yeah. I don't want to do them a disservice when in actual fact like I'm really overthinking it and like going far too into it when they're not feeling that way at all so yeah sometimes you just have to be like I'm gonna do what's best for me in the most civil polite and careful way without over worrying about things yep that's a huge part to self-love and self-care is I mean it sounds like so simple but we do it all the time like we're constantly making decisions based off of what we think would be better for everyone else and we think we're doing everyone this favor by doing that but actually I think sometimes if you just communicate like what you're thinking what you're yeah. feeling to the people you think you're saving or the th people you think you're putting first like there's a way for everyone to be happy at least if you're clear and then everyone's got like a good a good mark to jump off from haven't they like you know where you're going yeah. if everyone knows what the issue is um, something else is just regular like physical things you can do like self-care mm. things like I'll have a bubble bath so I like run a bubble bath and I put my laptop on my loo please be careful <laughs> if you're like putting your electronics in your bathroom and I'll play Netflix and just I watch too. Film. yeah it's so nice and just shut the world out just for an hour and be like I'm not gonna worry about my emails I'm not gonna worry if like somebody's text me I'm not gonna worry about like what I said three days ago I'm just gonna get in the bath and watch a film and just zone out and it's so good to give your mind and body a break at the same time do you take baths every day um well i actually I mean, not that like 
do you shower about I just mean like yeah. do you just sit in the tub every day? I actually do because my shower at home is a bit broken. Oh okay. So you can have like a one minute shower, otherwise it, like my tiles this is really boring. <laughs> my tiles aren't stuck to the wall correctly, they're oh. old. So if you take one too long the water goes down the back and into mm, my kitchen. So mm. you've either got to have like a quick body wash. Right. Or a bath. Or a bath. Yeah. yeah I actually take baths every single day. I love baths. Just I feel like, yeah, I feel like when I take a bath, I could just, there's something about being in water that just kind yeah. of relaxes me, and I know that. So whenever I'm feeling stressed, which is every day <laughs> at some point, uh, I take a bath. Or if I'm feeling nice. stressed and I'm out like in public, I try to find a place that has a fountain or water or stream yes. or the ocean because oh. being around that is very calming to me. In the so. last few months, I have done that as well. If you follow me on Instagram, cheeky little plug there, links below. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this reservoir that I go to like most evenings so I have Darcy for four nights a week um, alt well four or three depending on Matt and I and um, if I don't have her I'll like drive to this reservoir and just sit and look at it and it's so peaceful I've never noticed that water is so peaceful before but it is just really just very soothing exactly this hotel has a pool on it which I've been in a lot and I like <laughs> I wish I like had a pool on the top of my house, but yeah, that would be nice. I live in Northampton, so it'd be a bit weird. Mm. And I live in a very small house, so that'd be a very small pool. I think it's really important to figure out who gets to be in your life and who doesn't. That's a huge yes. one for self care because yes. a lot of times people have relationships, friendships, bosses, you know, just anyone in your life that is in your life. There's a lot of toxic relationships that mm -hmm. might be there, or ones that just aren't benefiting you in a positive way for whatever reason. And it's very important that you're aware of those relationships and aware of the people that are good for your life and yeah. bad for your life. And it's important to love yourself enough to say, I'm not going to interact with these people anymore because it's not good for me. Sometimes you don't get the choice of who you have in your life, like bosses, for example, mm. or yeah, that's true. teachers yeah, yeah, yeah. or family members, but you can always have a choice in your mind whether you interact with them. So of course, And how you interact with yeah. them. Yeah. So of course, like if you see your... Uh, teacher or boss every day that you don't like so I used to have a boss that I didn't like and mm. she was kind of mean but I would just be like hello how are you just when she came in I would just shut down and just be very like polite and get my my actual like physical job done but I didn't engage with her I didn't say like how was your weekend and mm. I wouldn't share personal things with her so you can also you can create boundaries yeah you can create oh. really healthy boundaries and that's something that I'm working on I think that this is a this is a lifelong thing I don't know anybody that is fully fully good at this and yeah. I'm only just starting to even be aware of it as a concept and I'm 30 it wasn't till like I think that's like kind of normal yeah people don't normally get into this stuff until they're like late 20s early yeah. 30s so you guys get a head start if you're younger yeah I hope so <laughs> someone said to me a while ago it was like six or seven months ago they said why don't you just have a Louise day and I was like yeah why don't I just I was and now you're like obsessed with Louise yeah, day. Not every day is a Louise, day, it's a Louise show. Like I find myself absorbed by things. Like I was speaking to Zoe earlier actually and she said that there's people in my life that cloud me. So it's like a fog and I can't I'm still functioning, I'm still like doing my mummy things and doing my work things, but like I think about them constantly and I can't get out get out of it, whether it's like this could be anything, it could be a work relationship or a romantic relationship or a friend relationship, but it just like fogs me and then to have a Louise day it's like just going, okay. I'm not going to deal with that today mm -hmm. and it's really good for you so rather than carrying on I think we've made some really good points um, if you have any good tips for self-care leave them in the comments because that will be really helpful for us but yeah, also like, what do you like, guys do? everyone else like I'd like to know what things you do like to feel better whether it's like read a magazine or paint your nails or go for a walk talk to a friend talk to a friend <laughs> um, and also if you have any tips for like mental stuff that's not just like have a bath that'd be great mm -hmm. also we have filmed a really fun video over on Kat's channel which I'll link below for you so go and watch it and subscribe to her channel and give her a little like and comment and I will see you all soon thank you so much for being on my channel you're welcome thanks for watching oh wait no <laughs> no that's fine thanks you're, for watching you're not watching thank you for watching I'm watching thanks for watching bye, bye.